Aren't mechanical sieve shakers and sonic sifters basically just a means to the same end? Technically, yes, but it all depends on the material that you're testing. I'll explain everything, so stick around. Hi, I'm Candace Blaker and I'm the Product Manager for Particle Size Analysis here at WS Tyler. With several particle size analysis equipment on the market, lab technicians have to do their research to ensure they select the instrument that will best accommodate their operation, like sonic sifters and mechanical sieve shakers. Having said that, which particle size analysis instrument should you be using? As pioneers of the mechanical sieve shaker, the Rotap RX29, WS Tyler is here to use its 110 years of particle analysis experience to ensure you're using the best equipment for your needs. So in this video, we'll go over what a sonic sifter is, what a mechanical sieve shaker is, how to use both devices, and the applications that both devices excel in. Sonic sifters are machines that create a vacuum of air through the use of sonic waves. These devices also use a bladder at the bottom of the sieve stack to create a unique tapping motion. Since the tapping motion is coming from the bottom, the particles slam against the sieve directly above it, similar to an Alpine air jet sieve's functions. This ensures that any agglomerated particles get adequately broken down and accurate sieving results are achieved. Mechanical sieve shakers, like the WS Tyler Rotap RX29, are machines that use a motorized system to help particles make their way through a stack of sieves. Each element of a mechanical sieve shaker works together to create the oscillating and tapping motions particles need to find each sieve's mesh openings. Mechanical sieve shakers, in particular, have been used for several decades and have proven to provide some of the most accurate, reliable, and repeatable results. It's because of this that the Rotap sieve shaker is in dozens of industry standards. Before using a sonic sifter, you must obtain a representative sample. After splitting your sample down, you then assemble your sieve stack. You'll then need to assemble the fine particle collection assembly, which consists of the fine particle collection bladder and its holder hardware. You should then evenly distribute the representative sample over the top sieve in the stack. At this point, the sieve stack should be placed on top of the fine particle collection assembly. To ensure that the sieve stack remains intact during testing, you need to place the sieve lock mechanism over the sieve stack. Be sure to press down until the mechanism snaps into place. You can now place the sieve stack into the sonic sifter unit. You'll need to release the clamps at the bottom of the sieve stack lock mechanism. This will cause the stack to lock into the sonic sifter sieving chamber. Now, close the protective cover, set the testing parameters, and turn the unit on. Before using a mechanical sieve shaker, you must first retain a reliable representative sample. Once you have this, place your empty sieve stack into your sieve shaker. Then, pour that representative sample into the top sieve of your sieve stack. To achieve optimal results, make sure you pour your sample as evenly as possible around the surface of the top sieve. Once the representative sample has been poured in its entirety, place the test sieve lid on. This cover is used to prevent the sample material from falling off the edges. It is not durable enough to withstand the tapping of the sieve shaker hammer. A second, more robust lid is then placed on top of the test sieve lid to soften the impact. You can now drop the hammer into place. At this point, you configure the test settings and power on your machine. Once the sieve shaker has finished its cycle, it will turn itself off. Since sonic sifters carry out particle analysis similar to the Alpine, this leaves the unit with a significant advantage when working with agglomerating material. The airflow inside of a sonic sifter does a better job at separating individual particles that tend to agglomerate, much more than the motion from a sieve shaker. With that being said, sonic sifters can prove to be more efficient than Alpine air jet sieves as they don't require the time-consuming process of testing the material individual sieve by sieve. Mechanical sieve shakers are designed for use in a wide range of industries to test and separate particles. Several attachments can be added to this device to expand its capabilities. And mechanical sieve shakers can sieve pretty much any material you need it to. Wet, dry, large or small, down to 20 microns. This, of course, is all dependent on the sieves that you use in your shaker. Having said that, the finer the particle, the harder it will be to yield accurate sieve results with a mechanical sieve shaker. Because of the sonic waves used to generate a column of error and the tapping motion to promote particle movement, 
Some noise should be expected from a sonic sifter. However, they're still much quieter than mechanical sieve shakers. This is because a mechanical sieve shaker utilizes a hammer to assist with the particle agitation and facilitate particle movement, which means these machines can be relatively noisy. The RX-29, for example, runs at around 85 decibels. The noise level is heavily determined by the material you work with, but a sound enclosure cabinet can be purchased to reduce the noise of mechanical sieve testing. Currently, there are two mechanical sieve shakers offered by WS Tyler, the Rotap RX-29 and the Rotap RX-30. The RX-29 is designed to work with 8-inch test sieves, whereas the RX-30 works with our 12-inch test sieves, and they're two of the most widely used mechanical sieve shakers. The RX-29 costs $3,300 and the RX-30 costs around $3,800. For sonic sifters, there's a handful of models on the market. Much like the Rotap product line, the biggest difference between these models are the type and size of test sieves you use. With that, you can expect to pay anywhere from $8,130 to $9,000 if you desire to implement a sonic sifter into your operation. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so that we can answer your specific requests. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many other products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Candace Blaker and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.